Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Samantha Polak. Today I'm gonna show you how I achieved this quick and easy lace closure wig. This is the first time I made a wig, I was so nervous, but I think I did a great job. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So the hair came in three boxes from her given hair. One box contains the sample kit. I've got the coily texture, but looking at the samples, the curly texture is closer to my hair type, but that's not a problem. In the boxes you also will find information about styling and maintaining the hair. I got one pack of 22 inches, two packs of 24 inches and one closure. The first thing I do is co-washing the hair. I will leave all the details in the description box where you can purchase the hair but also the details of the products I use. This is the shed hair I got from co-washing. After co-washing, I've used a leave-in conditioner and I let the hair air dry. I'm gonna use a glue gun to install the wig and what you're also gonna need is a doom cap. So first things first, we're gonna pin the closure in place. You wanna do this all the way around. I wrap the hair and I use a hair clip to clip the hair out of the way. I'm using a curved needle to stitch the closure onto the doom cap. You want to make sure that the closure is secure enough, so I start with making a knot. Now I sew down the closure all the way around. I forgot to measure the track on camera but I did that first. Now you see me adding the glue on one end. I place the track just underneath the sewing of the wig cap. And I add glue to secure the track. So again I'm gonna measure, add glue and place the track. Now that I'm halfway through, I begin to glue the track all the way to the side. The final tracks are the easiest because you can play with the hair a little bit more, just add the tracks where you got space. Now I'm cutting the wig cap that's underneath the closure. Don't cut the thread. Please avoid that. Now I'm just using some tweezers and I thin the hairline. Just to make it more natural. What I did off camera is making a fake part with concealer. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learned something new. 
Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and share this video. Until the next time, bye!